For junior transfer Colin Zinn, becoming a diver meant taking a leap of faith. What kind of drew you to diving and made you want to start doing that? I started when I was seven. Um, I did gymnastic first. One of the gymnasts was a diver and he he um, came back to the hometown. He talked to my gymnast coach and told them about diving, this new program that started in Beijing. After two full days of traveling by train, Colin and his family arrived in Beijing, unsure of what was to come. During the tryout, it wasn't too hard. So I thought to myself, like, it's a long trip to Beijing. It must be very important to my parents, so I decided to stay. The next commitment to diving Colin made was moving to the States. He was able to continue diving and going to school while living with a host family in California. Throughout high school, as I trained um, towards my senior year, it's like, oh, that's something I can do in college. What drew you to transfer to Tennessee? Um, Dave Parenton. I heard a lot of things about him. He's uh, very patient, he, he's very organized, and he is very positive uh, doing coaching and doing competitions as well. He's a very humble, humble, extremely humble young man. If you didn't know he was a diver, you probably would have no idea he's this big time elite athlete, you know. He came into a situation where, you know, Liam Stone had been had been sort of number one man for, for the last couple of years, two or three years, and um, but, but also very much of the same sort of um, mindset. And so these two guys have just fed off of one another, and uh, they train really hard each and every day, and um, and that carries over to the rest of the people on the team, swimmers alike, I believe. Since Colin's come, you know, it's provided me that extra push in training every single day. You know, we. We come and we get along great as friends, but we're also pushing each other as competitors. And so having that competitive aspect in practice every single day is just making you know both of us better and better. There is a positive environment where swimmers and divers push each other to be better swimmers, to be better divers. I want to push myself and want to try new dives and see where, where I get after college. I would love to go to the Olympics and I think that would be very, very cool to do. Thinking back on that train ride, unsure of what his future would hold, Colin's dreams can now become a reality at Tennessee. I'm really thankful and proud to be part of um, Tennessee swimming and diving team. For UTSports.com, I'm Casey Funderburg.